Hey, this is the intro. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Enjoy. Hey guys, Demon here doing another Adventure Time review. This time, the eight part special, um, Elemental, or Elementals, uh, something like that. It's like Elemental something. <laughs> it's an eight part special, just like the Vampire one and the Island one. Uh, this one's like an episode right after the Island one. <laughs> So it's like, it's like the island one, then one episode, and then another eight part special. <laughs> so the first episode is Skyhooks. Um, and the episode is pretty good. So far, it's pretty good. <laughs> it starts out with Finn and Jake and Bimo coming home. Uh, Finn's noticing that everything's pink and weird <laughs> and kind of candy-ish. And Bimo and Jake uh, are being a little bit dicky. <laughs> They're being like, just like, oh, stop being a baby. They're like, just picking on him. And then they, they meet Fern, or as he calls himself now, uh, Happy the Human, I think, or something like that. I'm Happy the Human, or something like that. Uh, and then they meet Lemon Grab, or Pink Lemon, I'm pretty sure he calls himself. <laughs> So Pink Lemon is feeding him lemon, pink lemon juice from his own body, which is gross. <laughs> so they go to to talk to Princess Bubblegum because Finn's like, this must be one of her experiments and it went wrong, and we gotta fix this and we gotta talk to her and you know talk some sense into that girl. So they go to talk to her. On the way there, they meet. Baby Lynch, I, I don't know, his, I, Sweet Pea I think his name is, I just like calling him Baby Lynch, because <laughs> he's a Lynch. So they meet Baby Lynch, he's normal, um, I'm assuming it's because he is, like he was the Lynch and he's not the Lynch anymore, but I'm assuming it's because he was the Lynch. <sighs> Sorry about that, <laughs> but anyways, I'm assuming it's because he was the Lynch. Uh, so yeah, so they meet him, he's normal, and his parents want to get him, his dad, like, the pig is a piñata, and tree trunks is an ice cream, <laughs> so it's pretty funny, and tree trunks is rubbing, like, caramel on him, I think it was, because she wants to make him normal, <laughs> and Sweet Pea, or Baby Lynch, says where Princess Bubblegum is, and she's in the tower. Um, not gonna lie, the tower kind of looks like a phallic object. <laughs> uh, it might be a giant dildo, just saying. <laughs> so they go there, uh, they start climbing up, and they meet Marceline. Uh, not, not the vampire queen anymore. Marceline, no, Marshmallow Aline, the the campfire queen or something like that, Marshmallow Aline or something. Yeah, so she's the campfire queen now because even she's got turned into candy people. Uh, and it's way more candy people-ish. Like, even the candy people are more candy people-ish. Like, everybody's, like, all happy and stuff all the time. So... So it's not like, it's not like everybody's turned to candy people and they have their own personalities. They're all happy and stuff because I guess candy is just a happy candy candy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like everybody's happy and they're all candy now. Um, so Finn's trying to talk some sense into Princess Bubblegum and it turns out Princess Bubblegum is the dildo. So, Finn's trying to talk some sense into her, and obviously she's crazy because she's just like, nope, this is, uh, this is, <laughs> she's like, nope, I gotta turn you guys into candy too, but, um, Finn and Jake get away because Simon, or the Ice King, whichever one you prefer, uh, puts down his sky hooks <laughs> and saves them. But Bimo ends up getting turned into candy. Uh, that's pretty funny. And also the thing with Nectar was pretty funny. Where Bimo's like, oh, Nectar's so cute now. I'm going to treat him as an equal. That was pretty funny. <laughs> but anyways, they go up to the Cloud Kingdom. 
and Ice King's waiting for them. And that's where it ends off. So next episode. So Bespoke for the second episode, and that's what it's called Bespoke for. I'm pretty sure it's called Bespoke for. It's like a bespoke suit. It looks like a custom made suit, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, this episode starts off from the end of the last episode, uh, which I forgot to mention. They were looking down on Ooh, or on the islands of Ooh. I don't know if they call the world Ooh, or just that one place Ooh. It's a little bit confusing, but whatever. It looks like an island from the sky. <laughs> I guess every. Landmass looks like an island from the sky if like you go high enough, so <laughs> anyways, whatever. <laughs> um but anyways, the the ooh <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I'm just gonna call it ooh. So they're looking down ooh and it has like four it's it's like split into four sections. The slime kingdom, the the candy kingdom, ice kingdom and the Fire Kingdom. <laughs> um, and we get to know how this happened. So we get to know that Patience is the cause of this. <laughs> so Patience goes out to goes out to power her elemental battery, I guess, whatever that thing is. Um, and Betty comes back. Is her name Betty? I'm pretty sure it's Betty. <laughs> Anyways, Betty comes to talk to Simon. Because <laughs> she wants to, you know, get him back. And Ice King kind of pisses her off in a way. Like, as she's talking to him, he pisses her off because he's just like, I know you don't remember me. He's like, no, I remember you. Then he's, then he's just like, oh yeah, Betty, I knew it was you. <laughs> Um, it pisses her off a little bit. <laughs> so she asks him, do you want to go on a date? And he says, sure thing. Because, <laughs> you know, Ice King's lonely. So he's like, oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> so he talks to his friend and he gets a suit. Even though he already has a suit. But I guess he doesn't remember it probably. <laughs> but anyways, he gets a suit and I gotta say... The Ice King doesn't look half bad in the suit. I'm just saying. Uh, I much prefer that to his, what he calls a moo moo. <laughs> uh, he looks pretty good in the suit. I'm just saying that. <laughs> um, anyways. So he goes on this date with Betty. She's trying to get him to remember his past. A place where they used to go and used to eat dinner and stuff like that. Or lunch or whatever. And they used to, like, you know, hang out. So she's trying to make him remember it, and obviously he doesn't. And she gets frustrated with this and pushes him back to the ice cave. Ice kingdom, not ice cave. I guess it's the ice cave. <laughs> so she pushes him back there. <clears throat> and she talks to the tiny manticore, which is a thing. <laughs> He's still there, you know, tiny manticore. So she talks to him. Uh, she says, like, I've tried everything to change him. Uh, which is really making me think, is Simon ever going to be changed? Uh, is there a possibility that he can ever be changed? She's like, he's just not there anymore. I don't understand. It's like I'm trying to bring back someone that's like pretty much dead, you know. Uh, but we know that he is there. <laughs> in, one, in the episode, I forgot his name, but in one of the episodes where she infects the crown... Finn Jake, I think it was Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. Or maybe, I don't know if Jake was there. <laughs> Marceline, Princess Bubblegum, and Finn was there for sure. I'm pretty sure Jake was there, but, you know, a little bit iffy there. But anyways, they go look for, like, the cause, and they try to fix it, and they meet Simon there. <laughs> so he is there, just in a vast maze of the crown. <laughs> um... So yeah, he's like stuck there in this vast maze of the crown. But he's still there, you know, he's still alive. There's still a possibility that she can get him back somehow. I don't know, man. Because when he lost all his magic, he was back. So maybe she could demagic him and then... Maybe that's the best she could do. Maybe you just can't save him, I don't know. 
It's either demagic him and let him be Simon for a few hours, or you know, just let him be Ice King till he dies. It kind of reminds me of that episode, uh, the Five Grupal guy, where he go, he lands on Ooh, he crash lands on Ooh, and as he's running around, he sees a flying kit, like a flying thing with the crown, and it, I'm, it might be Simon. You know, it might be Simon. <laughs> He might never get changed, and eventually he's just going to go insane and become animalistic. Who knows, man? That might be Simon, and we might never, ever see him change. You know, he might just be Ice King forever. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> but we do know he is there. <laughs> um, and then the Manticore said, well, maybe you should... <laughs> Like, maybe you should, you should, like, go out with this, what he is now. Um, which I, I kind of agree with, I guess, and I kind of don't at the same time. Because uh, she wants to change him back to what he was, but he's not going to be that. And she's not going to be able to find a way to do it anytime soon. So the man is like, why don't you just take what you can get, you know? Uh, and she's, she's like, she's like, oh, and he's like, well, you changed a lot too, because she's going a little bit crazy to herself. Like, she's pretty much made herself go crazy. <laughs> so, like, he's just like, just take what you can get. And she's like, oh, well, like, we're two lost shadows in purgatory sort of thing, and we're just stuck there forever. <laughs> uh, it's pretty interesting to hear. <laughs> but anyways, it's a pretty good episode. And at the end, she gets captured by Patience. And then I think I think it's not only Patience's fault, you know, because she was super powering the elementals. I'm pretty sure it was a little bit of Simon's fault, too, because he interrupted at the end there. So I'm pretty sure it was, like, a little bit of both of them. <laughs> mostly Patience, mostly Patience, uh, but also a little bit of Simon's fault as well and Jake that pun at the end <laughs> that was bad <laughs> but anyways next episode so winter light <laughs> this episode fairly good um, Finn Jake and the Ice King all go to the Ice Kingdom or Ice World I think they called it <laughs> Anyways, they go to the Ice Kingdom, they shatter the dome, uh, just a small part of the dome, not the whole thing. <laughs> so they shattered it, they get in there, and they meet Patience after they see everything else. And it's super dark down there, <laughs> well in there, not down there, it's super dark in there. Finn even says it's like being in an ocean, it's like being in the bottom of an ocean because it's so dark. And weird looking. <laughs> so yeah, they go to find patience. Um, and Ice King made them like matching hoodies or matching. Not it's not a hoodie, I guess. It's a it's <laughs> it's a sweater. <laughs> uh, it kind of reminds me of the time when Princess Bubblegum gave Finn a sweater <laughs> uh, when he was fighting the Lynch. But you know, whatever. <laughs> And then Finn was cold, so Jake gave him his sweater. And it had the face of Finn on it, and for some reason the Ice King freaked out about it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyways, they go on. Uh, we see the golem, uh, the ice golem, I think people call it, that used to have the fox. We don't see the fox. I don't know what happened to the fire fox. We see the cyclops, which has been like an episode or two. I might have even attacked Finn and Jake. I'm not, I don't actually remember. <laughs> but we see him. And then we go to see Patience. Oh, and we also see one more thing. We see the Cloud Lady um, from the Tower episode of Adventure Time. There's a Cloud Lady in there. And we see her in this episode too. But now she's an Ice Lady. <laughs> and she tells, she tells Patience, not Pim. She tells Patience because she has good there, she says. Even though if it were to turn back to normal, 
She could still have it good there because it's still a snowy place. <laughs> but whatever. Um, so she tells Patience. Patience doesn't even want to stop them because everybody in the Ice Kingdom is super gloomy. Um, except for Cloud Girl. She's not actually too gloomy. <laughs> but everybody else is super duper gloomy, I guess. Even Patience herself is super gloomy. <laughs> And she says that even if she wanted to, she couldn't stop it because it's all messed up. And uh, basically, she just she she want she just wanted them to have their powers. She just wanted them to realize what they were. Um, but in the end, the elements took them over, sort of thing. So it's kind of weird. So she's just like, oh, I just wanted them to play with me and like have their powers and realize what they were. But in the end, their elements took them over, and they turned into, you know, what you see before you. Like, bubblegum turned into a dildo that spreads around sweetness. Um, <laughs> the other two turned into something, probably. But whatever. <laughs> um, so, let's see. <laughs> So Patience, uh, Ice King finds Betty, or Rearly as he's as he calls her. They save her. Uh, Jake it, like falls prey to the Ice Kingdom magic. I'm guessing it's because he wasn't wearing the hoodie, like that somewhat of it, and also because he's more susceptible to these things, because he's like more lazy, <laughs> sort of thing. But anyways, uh, he comes susceptible to it, and then Finn takes him out of there, and Patience doesn't stop him because she doesn't care. <laughs> um, and Chuskus was there, but he was like a snowman icicle thing. Pretty funny. So anyway, they go and they go back to the Cloud City thing, and now they have Betty there, and also she asks for the Enchiridion. Which Jake says they blew it up, which they did blow it up, but Finn has the Enchiridion from a different dimension. From the, I think he called it the farm dimension? So yeah, he has it from that dimension. He probably stole it because he thought it was too dangerous, or maybe he just stole it because he needed a new Enchiridion, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, he had it from that dimension, and he gave it to Betty, and then there was a laugh between Betty and Simon. A uh, crazy laugh, maybe a little bit evil, uh, <laughs> but definitely crazy. <laughs> and let's see what happens in the next episode. So, Cloudy. This episode, pretty good. Um, it mainly focuses around Finn and Jake. <laughs> so, basically it starts off as Finn, Jake, uh, Betty, and Simon... Finn is freaking out, <laughs> and you can tell because he's pacing back and forth and saying like, "Okay, okay, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this." So he's freaking out. Uh, Betty's getting a little bit annoyed at him. Uh, well, I guess that's that's natural. You get a little bit annoyed at people like that, <laughs> like especially when someone's freaking out and you're freaking out yourself. You're just like, "Come on, stop freaking out!" <laughs> it's like you're getting annoying. Uh, so she is getting a little bit annoying, although she uh, she's a little bit rude, uh, especially by the end of it where she's just like, oh, were you guys gone or something? I didn't even notice. Uh, I don't know if that's the magic, like, is that the crazy magic Betty talking, or is that how normal Betty would have been? Like, original Betty, would she have done that, or is this because she's like crazy magic Betty? Because if that's original Betty... Betty has always been uh, a bitch. <laughs> but this is crazy magic, Betty. Well, then, Betty has only been a bitch because she's a crazy magic, Betty. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> and I don't know if she was always that way, or is it because of the crazy magic stuff? <laughs> but anyways, uh, she finds a way to, to fix the world, too. <laughs> All she needs is the three gems from the crowns. Um, even though this is how they like did the last Enchiridion thing, 
and it didn't turn out well. <laughs> uh, and this time they only need three gems, and last time they need all the gems. Uh, I don't. I guess because the three gems belong to the elementals, probably. <laughs> but whatever. So she needs the three gems, um, and she can fix it. Uh, but we do get some other stuff in this episode that's pretty interesting. Um, like, the fact that Finn thinks this is his fault. That he thinks, like, like maybe he's the one that put out a bad vibe because he didn't want Fern to be better than him. Sort of thing. Um, and it's really interesting to see that. And Jake thinks that they're, they might be dead. <laughs> And he also thinks like, oh, like best case scenario, we're we're dead, and this is like us dreaming sort of thing, or something like that. <laughs> and then he's like, worst case scenario, my kids are candy zombies, and Lady Raycorn's like a piece of taffy or something like that. So he's freaking out, but he's keeping himself calm better. Uh, and Finn's freaking out, but he's not keeping himself calm as well. <laughs> So, I think Jake's problems are more, uh, like, more dire than Finn's problems right now. But still, <laughs> they're both pretty even on this. Uh, not fully even, but still pretty even. Uh, and it's pretty cool to see that they have this, like, hair therapy thing that kind of works. And the Ice King knows they did it. <laughs> That's a little bit weird, but funny. Uh, but yeah, in the end... They know what they're supposed to do, and they know they don't know how to do it yet, but they know they're going to do it. <laughs> so, next episode. So, Slime Central. This episode, pretty good. <laughs> um, pretty funny, some parts of it. Uh, so, this episode starts off with them going to the Slime Kingdom to get the slime uh, jewel from the crown. <laughs> Um, so Finn and Jake go down there, um, Ice King and Betty don't go down there, uh, but Ice King and Betty seem to be getting along, uh, crazy people get along, I guess, and Finn's just like, are you sure we should let them do that? Because I don't know how, that, how I feel morally about two crazy guys getting along like that. Um, I do understand that, like... Okay, so, like, they're both crazy, so is that okay? Like, should we allow that? Would they even do that if they weren't crazy? <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, man, uh, even crazy people need love, I guess. So, if two crazy guys can get along, um, even if you have mixed feelings about it, uh, if they're legal age and they're able to decide for themselves... Just let it happen, I guess. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, man, it's weird. I don't know, man. That's, that's a good question. Is that okay or is that not okay? <laughs> but anyways, they go to the Slime Kingdom. They put themselves in slime. Um, and Jake says this funny line where he's just like, it smells like, I forgot what he said it smells like. But he's like, but that's okay because I, I, I can get used to it. He's like, that's the thing I love about smells. You can get used to them. <laughs> so no matter how good, no matter how bad it smells, you can always get used to it, I guess. <laughs> um, which I guess is true. Although the worse it smells, the harder it is to get used to it. <laughs> but anyways, they go to a slime rave. And if you remember from uh, an older episode where Finn was almost going to marry the slime princess... Um, slime people had the best raves ever. <laughs> so they go there, they meet LSP along with a few other princesses, princess eyes, princesses. <laughs> they meet them, um, and it turns out that the slime princess is basically Jabba the Hutt, but bigger. <laughs> uh, and she can't talk anymore, she's just mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh, it's kind of funny, um, but weird. And it turns out they're all being assimilated into her. The winners get assimilated properly, and the losers get assimilated shamefully. So the winners get assimilated like through a little portal door that opens up. 
Um, and then they evaporate and become one with her, I guess. And the losers uh, go straight up her butthole. <laughs> uh, just saying. <laughs> so Finn and Jake and LSP lose a match. Um, uh, so they have to get assimilated to the butthole. Uh, it all works out in the end, I guess. <laughs> Finn gets the crown, but Jake, uh, as as we all know, Jake's lazy and he's laid back, man. And that place was just too laid back for him, so he just gave in to it, man. It's it's messed up. And Finn was just like, oh no, Jake. And he was about to give in to it, but then LSP saved his ass because she couldn't get assimilated. And it turns out that she wasn't even a slime person. <laughs> uh, it turns out she's just like a weirdo, just like the Lich Baby. Uh, she's kind of just like the Lich Baby. <laughs> So she couldn't get assimilated uh, by the slime people. Uh, and they got kicked out of the club because they couldn't get assimilated. <laughs> so Finn and LSP go back to the Sky Kingdom and they lose Jake, but Finn vows to bring him back. <laughs> so the next one, I'm assuming, is going to be the Flame Kingdom. Or maybe they're going to go back to the Candy Kingdom. Uh, but either way, it's going to be awesome. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Next episode. So, Warrior. I mean, not Warrior. <laughs> Happy Warrior. It, that's the episode. <laughs> that's what it's called. Happy Warrior. Um, this episode, pretty good. Uh, again, pretty good. Like most of these episodes. Are just pretty good. <laughs> um, basically, they go to the Fire Kingdom. Uh, we see Lady Rainicorn, but she's Lady Flame Acorn. I think that's what. Uh, what what is his name again? <laughs> uh, that's what the candy guy said. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, <laughs> but whatever. That's what he said, Lady Flame Acorn. Uh, and it turns out in the Fire Kingdom. Everything is kind of blue and white. Um, and everybody is really angry at each other and fighting each other all the time. <laughs> and Finn needs to find the flame princess to save everybody, you know? And he talks to... <laughs> I forgot his name. He talks to Candy Guy. Just going to call him Candy Guy because I forgot his name. He talks to Candy Guy to save them. To like talk to the princess. So he takes him there. And Finn goes into the princess's throne room. Uh, and inside the throne room. A bunch of people fighting. And there's a dragon. And the dragon turns out to be the princess. <laughs> and in the end she eats the. Um, she eats. She eats the jewel that they need. And man, oh man, Finn started to change, man. Uh, Jake, I could see him changing into the Slime King. I can, like, not Slime King, I mean Slime Place. Because he's lazy, he's chillax, you know. So I could see him doing that in the Slime Place. And Finn, I definitely could see him doing this because he is, like, a hero and a warrior kind of thing. And he has, like, these anger, like, he's angry... Because Jake just got screwed over and his like his whole life is just being screwed with right now. So he's angry. So I can see him changing into the fire guy that he changed into. And plus LSP. <laughs> uh, in the last episode she was being a dick at the end. And in this episode she's being a dick at the beginning. Not as much at the end but at the beginning. Complete dick. <laughs> uh, man LSD, LSP I mean... Complete dig all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so Finn turns into a fire guy and basically starts fighting <laughs> starts fighting the fire the flame princess. The flame princess. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so he fights her until LSP gets mad enough and yells out that you should stop fighting and be more like the candy people. And the flame princess agrees and says yeah, we should stop fighting and go kill the candy people because they're nerds and we're not. <laughs> so they go to fight the candy people 
and that's going to be the next episode. So let's get into that episode and see what happens. But it's pretty interesting in this episode to see that the flame, <laughs> like she's a dragon. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, and Finn, uh, man, he's completely taken over. Hero Heart. <laughs> this episode, man. Uh, this episode's probably uh, the better episode out of all the episodes so far. <laughs> um, it's pretty damn good, I gotta say. <laughs> Basically, it starts off with LSP trying to stop Finn from being a crazy, mad warrior <laughs> that wants to destroy things. Uh, she can't do it, uh, and Finn eventually gets to, uh, gets to PB the giant dildo, uh, and he tries to attack her, and then LSP sends him to his happy place, um, which is basically mostly just, um, Princess Bubblegum, uh, maybe that's just because it's her smell that he's getting, or... Maybe that's just his happy place. I'm not actually sure on that point. <laughs> like, on that part. Uh, but it's interesting to think, to think of. <laughs> and I gotta say, man, Marceline, even though she's not, like, herself right now, uh, she can still put up a fight. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, dude. Or maybe Flame Princess just sucks at fighting? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's just Marceline just still puts on a fight, even though she's play fighting pretty much. Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I wonder, like, it's, it's pretty interesting. Like, I guess Marceline probably would win in a fight if they were normal. <laughs> uh, but would Marceline win if she was normal and the Flame Princess was the dragon? <laughs> that's a question. <laughs> but anyways, at the end, he gets both the jewels... And he tells Princess Bubblegum that he's going to save her. And she's like, oh, that's sweet, but not sweet enough. So she's, she changes everybody into sweet candy people. And Finn gives the jewels away to Betty. And Betty betrays him. <laughs> Probably should have guessed that because of her evil laughing. But, you know, she betrays him. Uh, and Simon doesn't know why she does it. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, in the end, he's getting surrounded by candy people. And I gotta say something, man. Finn is kind of short for his age. Because in the in a few, like, episode a few ago, Finn was with Betty and Simon. And Finn's supposed to be, like, what, 16 or so? And yet he's shorter than Betty and Simon? And I don't know, like, at the age of 16, I already had my growth spurt, you know, and I was, like, as tall or taller than my parent, like, my parents. Uh, so I don't know why Finn's so short. <laughs> I don't know, I think he should be more taller, or maybe he's just gonna be a short guy. Sorry for that little interruption there. <laughs> um, anyways, as I was saying, Finn is 16. Um, by the time I was 16... I had my growth spurt, and I was about, I was taller than my parents, actually. Um, <laughs> I'm six foot two, uh, I'm a pretty tall guy. Not the tallest, obviously, but t taller than average. <laughs> um, but by the age of 16, I was this height, you know? I'm just saying. I know that some people don't grow uh, at the age of 16, uh, I'm pretty sure Finn's age is 16, or maybe older, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure he's at least 16, 15, but I'm just saying, at that age, you should be taller, but then again, some people are late bloomers, I guess, so maybe that's the point, maybe that's what Finn is, just a late bloomer, so that's why he's not so tall, because in his future episodes, and like, flat, and like, like, in his head and stuff like that, he's taller. <laughs> like, in the future episodes, too. Like, the one where he went to, to the pillow world and he lived out a life there, he was pretty tall when he got older. Uh, and in his, like, mind, he's pretty tall when he gets older. So, I don't know how long it's going to take him to get that height. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a little weird. 
because he's like 16 now. He should be that tall. I'm just saying, but whatever. Anyways, move on to the next episode. Sky Hooks 2. Man, this episode, pretty damn good. I gotta say, out of all the episodes, out of all eight episodes, this is the best episode. Um, and this whole elemental storyline, uh, this elemental short storyline thing, was that uh, was not the best. <laughs> I will say that. Um, I do like the island one better, and then the vampire queen one second best, and then this one third best. Uh, sorry to say that, but it's true. <laughs> Um, I thought it would be better. Maybe I had too high of expectations. But uh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. But nonetheless, it is still fairly good. Um, the ending, kind of weird. LSP kind of like poops in the ground and then it turns everything back to normal. And she gets like wiped out from it. <laughs> uh, and there's three things in this episode that I really want to focus on. But first, I'm just going to do like a, a quick summary of the episode. So basically, it starts off with Finn being surrounded, LSP saving him, and they re and Finn realizing that LSP is the key to undoing this because she's anti-elemental, I guess. Uh, because all the elements, and then she's just the anti-element. Because she's not really from Ooh, she's from Lumpy Space. Um, which makes no sense. And anyways, elements are not candy, slime... Um, ice and fire. Uh, the elements are fire, water, <laughs> air, and w like wind. You know, fire, water, air, and w w fire, water, air, earth. Yeah, those are the four main elements. And there's a lot more elements. <laughs> there's a whole shit ton of elements. Okay, <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna name them all down. Okay. Look up her element table. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Candy's not an element. I don't, I'm pretty sure Candy's not an element, though. And Slime, either. But anyways, <laughs> let's get back to the story. <laughs> but, uh, so, Finn and LSP uh, basically fight it by destroying everything. <laughs> Like, well, LSP doesn't destroy everything, but she turns everything back to normal. And the Ice King was with Magic Betty, uh, Crazy Betty. And, man, Betty tried to do it, she said. She tried to go with the Ice King, but she couldn't do it. Even though she didn't really try, because as soon as she got the Ankyrian, she was making this plan. So that's kind of a lie. You didn't even try, man. Uh, I don't know. I think I think if you got to know the Ice King good enough, you might like him. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, Betty, you're kind of crazy. The Ice King's crazy. He used to be your boyfriend. You know, like uh, give him a chance. You know, <laughs> crazy and crazy. You know, what's what, what's the worst that can come out of that? Uh, well, <laughs> probably something pretty bad. But anyways, Betty is just going crazy. And she's like, I can, I'm going to make a portal back in time, stop you from ever getting the crown, and maybe even stop the Mushroom Wars. And we all know what happened when they stopped the Mushroom Wars. <laughs> uh, if you don't remember the Prismo uh, Special Wish one, you know, we all know what happened when they stopped the Mushroom Wars. And who knows what would have happened if she, if she would have threw the crown in lava or something. Like, man, she won crazy, crazy bitch. And yet she thinks she's the normal one. Um, it's pretty funny. And at the end, she gets transported to Magic Normal Man, I should say. Not Magic Man anymore. Normal Man. Uh, she gets transported to Mars. Because she's going to get punished. Because she went a little bit too far. Even Prismo and the Cosmic Owl thought so. <laughs> she going a little bit too far, guy. Uh, girl, I mean. <laughs> and anyways, at the end, LSP switches everybody back to normal. 
And also, there's two things I want to talk about. So first off, let's talk about the Lich. <laughs> or Baby Lich at this point. He's still Baby Lich. But his horn grows back fully. Um, and he says, like, I think it was like, excuse me or something like that. And I don't know, man. Is this the beginning of the Lich coming back? Because we did see a brief glimpse of the Lich in that one episode where he was being conned and then, like, threatened. We saw a brief glimpse of the, of the Lich. So in this way, did the Lich go back to his original form? Like, his horn grew back, but he still doesn't have his mind, maybe. Or maybe he does have his mind back, or maybe it's going to lead to his mind coming back. Because I think the Lich should be the last villain of the series. I'm just saying, man. I would love to see Finn finally kill the Lich. <laughs> Or something like that. That'd be awesome. Uh, but, you know, who knows? <laughs> the Lich is the Lich, man. He's dangerous. <laughs> so, anyways, that was interesting to see. Um, and then... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, that was pretty interesting to see the, like, the Lich doing that. And he might be coming back. I think he's coming back eventually. And he's going to be the last villain, I hope at least. But anyways, that was really interesting. The second one is Ice King's crown. Uh, due to LSP using it so much, one of the jewels fell out. Uh, which makes me think that his crown's not as powerful anymore and he might be losing power now. Which might, like, convert him back into Simon. Uh, which would be pretty cool. Although, I still think if he does convert back into Simon, he'll probably die still. <laughs> but it's pretty cool to notice, like, it's pretty cool to see that. And I don't think Simon would like Magical Bay that much, because Magical Bay is a psychopath, you know? Just saying. Is he crazy? <laughs> so I don't know if Simon would like her that much. But anyways, I'm just saying, it's pretty interesting to see that the crown is jewel fell out, and it might be getting weaker. And that might lead to Simon not being Ice King anymore, you know? It's pretty interesting to see. But who knows, it might just be a little joke. And then the last and final one is Jake's true form. <laughs> um, if you have not watched this yet, uh, this is like a throwback, uh, a callback I should say, to a previous episode where we learned how Jake was born. And we learned that he was born from like this, I'm pretty sure it was a cat. But it was like an alien cat thing. I don't know if it was an alien. <laughs> I just like calling it an alien cat thing. So it was like this alien thing that impregnated Joshua, his father. And I'm pretty sure Joshua beat it as well. But before he did it, it impregnated him. It put like an egg in him. And then Jake was born out of that egg. And that's why he has his stretchy powers. And the way he looks now is very reminiscent of the alien... Uh, cat thing. Very reminiscent of it. Like, if you go watch that episode, or look up pictures from that episode, uh, that alien cat thing looks exactly like Jake does now. Except without the mouse. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty interesting to see. A little funny callback. I don't think that will last, like, that won't be, like, any episodes. But if it is, that'd be pretty interesting to see, you know? That'd be pretty interesting to see. I mean, it's just still going to be Jake just lounging around and stuff, but whatever. <laughs> but that's, like, Jake's true form, I guess. <laughs> really, really interesting, you know? Uh, just saying. Man, it's interesting, man. Um, anyways, this whole series, this eight-part miniseries, pretty damn good. I liked it. Not as much as the other two. <sighs> Oh god, sorry, I can't stop on it. <laughs> but anyways, I liked it not as much as the other two, but I did like it, and it did show me some cool things, especially the Lich part, uh, the Ice King part, and also the little throwback with the Jake part. That was pretty funny. <laughs> anyways, I hope you liked this review of the whole Island miniseries, not Island, the whole Elemental miniseries. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey guys, this is the outro. Just remind you to subscribe, like the video, watch my other videos, and, you know, 
stuff like that. So, uh, see you later. Peace. Bye-bye.